Hi guys, how you doing? We're at the end of week 25 of taking 150 milligrams of sertraline to treat triple PD, MDDS and CPTSD. Um, I'm on the massager at the moment because I've actually got a bit of a backache. <laughs> it's not symptom drift or anything. It's I've been doing my market stall today in Margate and I've been stood up from about nine o'clock this morning until about five o'clock. Um, which it went well, I'm glad I did it. The, there were a couple of moments where um, I've been sitting down for too long, actually, because um, I was sort of sitting up and then down, up and down. Um, and yeah, there was just like twice in all those hours that I sort of suddenly became aware of the sensations in my body. Um, but I tried to just allow them to exist rather than push them away. Um, and it was fine, you know. Um, <clears throat> I would say that I'm, it's one of those weird times because I, I've, I've had a really good run of a couple of weeks um, and I think that that's a combination of several things. I think it's because I've reached six months on 150 and talking to other um, users, I don't know, people that take it <laughs> at this dose, it can take that long before things start to calm down. It's crazy. The doctors don't really tell you this because, you know, they're just, they're not going by first hand experience, are they? Kind of, you know, they've not tried them themselves, a lot of them. So, um, it can actually take that long before you feel a difference, which is crazy. But anyway, um, I think it's that combined with um, listening to what my needs are and focusing on creative stuff and um, just focusing, you know, on other things other than how I'm feeling, but without pushing it away, if that makes sense. Um, I've also had some energy healing today, which is good. But it, I'm saying it's a bit weird at the moment because I'm. it's hard to gauge... Um, I've come off HRT, I was told, just to give you an example, okay, because I think a lot of people think that if you have triple PD particularly, that you've got health anxiety, right, let me just give an example, I'm a cancer survivor, let me just say that again, a cancer survivor, okay, so I have a reason to be worried about my health but not to an extreme where i'm constantly checking and paranoid and going back and forth to doctors no it's something i was told um, this is relevant something i was told about 20 years ago when i um went into remission the oncologist said to me because you've had radiotherapy to your chest you are at increased risk of getting breast cancer in the future um, I'm sorry if this is triggering, guys, but it's important that I say this because it's in a good way, right? Um, so I've always known in the back of my mind that it could get me one day. Um, and I've been trying to get mammograms or MRIs on the NHS for a long time and always been told, no, you can't have one because you don't have family history of breast cancer specifically and um, you're not over 50. So I've always been denied those things. And I thought, what? Like, I was told specifically by the oncologist that I needed to have them. So, and they were just denied to me. Um, and now, as a result of me seeing this women's health GP, she specialises in menopause and things like that. Because we've had the HRT review and everything, I said to her about my history and I said, look, is it worth me taking HRT? Because I was taking it to prevent, for a number of different reasons, but the majority of the reason was because oestrogen blocks cortisol. Cortisol is a stress hormone. The lower oestrogen you've got, the higher the cortisol. And I know I've got cortisol coursing through my body, right? I've put a lot of weight on my belly and that's kind of where cortisol sits, particularly. 
anyway, so I thought if I could mitigate that by taking HRT, and I'd heard a lot of other good things about it now, um, and I, they tried me on the patches and took me off. Then, then they put me on oral um, progesterone and estrogen gel. So I tried that for three months. I've now been told that actually the benefits won't outweigh the risk and that um, actually looking at my notes that I should have been given mammograms every year for the last 20 years. So I've had a letter of apology. It's taken me to flag it up. A letter of apology from the head of blah, blah, blah or whatever and the head of breast screening and all that saying we are very sorry this has been overlooked and you should have been having one every year so with that in mind you're entitled to a MRI and or mammogram every year um now they've put in the they put in the letter as you're at very high risk and to contact them contact specifically the very high risk clinic now, if I had health anxiety, I would be absolutely through the roof, okay? So considering how my nervous system is at the moment, you'd think that that would tip me over the edge. It hasn't, right? It hasn't. Um, my, I think my nervous system is starting to calm down, guys. I think it's just this neural circuit that needs to be reprogrammed. So I'm doing all I can to reprogram it by focusing my attention on strengthening other neural pathways other than that one, you know? So that's happened. So I'm now off the HRT. And because I'm off the HRT, a period's due. And because a period's due, symptoms go up. So I'm in one of these sort of weird phases at the moment. Um, but still, despite all that, I'm good. It's good. So... Um, I'm feeling quite positive. Um, yeah, and that's about it for this week. Um, I'm quite tired, so I'm going to go to bed shortly. It's about uh, half past 10 in the evening here in the UK. Um, I've had a very long day at the market. I've got a bit of, yeah, got a bit of blurred vision. Um, I could do with a good sleep. And um, yeah, how are you guys doing? hope you're okay um yeah so get in touch by the way if you if you want me to ask Dan Boothley any questions that will be coming up over the next month or so I'm not sure when I know when my appointment is but I don't know when that will be uh when the video will be ready to go live on YouTube I don't know so um any questions for me to put to him please hit me in the comments and um yeah, I'll speak to you on Sunday. Love you lots, guys. Take care.